Okay, number 77, your classroom for congruent triangles. Uh, so here we have a fun one. Uh, we're going to need to fill out all the statements and reasons in our proof. So on the left, we'll have our statements. And on the right, we have our reasons. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and start off with our given information. So we have uh, that BC is congruent to uh, DC. And also that AC is congruent to EC. Uh, so this is a given. Uh, then number two. Uh, we can deduce uh, from the figure that this uh, shared uh, shared uh, vertical angles here are going to be congruent uh, because it's one of the properties of vertical angles that uh, they have the same uh, measure uh, and so they will be uh, congruent. So we have angle ACB is congruent to angle uh, e, C, D, and this is because uh, vertical angles are congruent. Uh, and then uh, it would follow that we have uh, one pair of congruent angles followed by congruent, uh, or first we have uh, congruent sides, followed by congruent angles, followed by congruent sides. So we have uh, an SAS uh, congruence. Uh, so if we have SAS <coughs> triangle congruence, uh, then this uh, follows uh, that our triangles uh, ACB and triangle uh, ECD are congruent, and our proof is complete.